Good morning, this is Jill Anderson, the Homegrown Gourmet. I haven't been with you for a while and I do apologize. A um, little bit of traveling, a little bit of this and that, and we've been kind of busy. But um, I've had several requests and I do want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. And thank you for your requests and for all the compliments about the recipes. It really encourages me to make more. And in that vein, we're going to go ahead and start with the one that I have for you today. This is like, this is really, really easy. And I want to call this kid food because it's something that um, kids would like. But, you know, I, I think to me, I love it. Adults would like it too. And what this is, is a, is a banana breakfast burrito. Now, this is all vegan. So... Um, as you know, not everything I do is vegan. Some of them are vegetarian, but this one is a vegan. I've got some rather large, low-carb, high-fiber, whole-grain tortilla wraps. And they're, they're soft. You want them to be nice and pliable. Over here, I've got heating an electric skillet. You can certainly do this on the stove, but for the constraints of filming, I'm just going to do it right here. And what I do is I want to start this out. This is some natural peanut butter. And you do have to stir it because a lot of times it does separate. So I've got some natural peanut butter and I'm just going to spread some of this on top of the tortilla. This is just something that you can throw together super fast. And it's just, it's yummy. It would be actually a good dessert as well. Okay, so about a serving's worth of peanut butter is fine. You don't want these to get too extremely high calorie, so don't go over what a normal serving would be, which is about two tablespoons in a wrap this size. Then I have the next ingredient, of course, is a fresh banana. Um, high in potassium, minerals, vitamins, um, just, you know, healthful. You can't really... Um, you can't really improve on nature. So the more natural state that you can use your fruits and vegetables in, the better. So um, this is up to you. You can slice the banana or you can actually just leave it whole and put it in the wrap. But I'm going to slice it just because it's pretty and that's how I roll. So anyway, we're going to slice it up and put it in here. And that's going to be right down the middle. You're going to leave kind of a little tail at the end um, so that you can wrap this. And that's a kind of a funny piece. It won't roll up. So if you can see I have the banana. Now you get to go crazy with whatever you like. Keeping in mind that you want to keep things as healthful as possible. I've got here some wheat germ. I'm going to tape, do a tablespoon of wheat germ just right across the top. I would highly recommend, uh, these actually have flax in the tortilla, but if you don't have tortillas with flax, I would highly recommend some flax meal in this too. Now, I've got some slivered almonds. And of course, any of these ingredients that you don't like, just leave them out. No, you know, no biggie. A little bit of raisins. You could do cranberries, you could do dried cherries, you could do... Um, you know, any, any type of dried fruit that you want. I have a little bit of cinnamon, and I'm just going to kind of hit this around all over the top. And I have, last but not least, I have a little bit of dark cocoa powder. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to sift this over the top because we don't want it to come out in clumps. If you don't want to use the cocoa powder, you could actually put vegan chocolate chips, tropical source chocolate chips in here. All right, that is all ready. Now, I have some agave off to the side, but we're going to use that on the top. So make sure that you've left yourself enough room on the sides to roll. Fold the edge over, roll it once, kind of keep everything in, and then you want to just tuck as best that you can, and then hold it in place and tuck the other side as good as you can. It does not have to be perfect. It's going to stay together, so just wrap and roll, just like that. The peanut butter acts like glue. So now I have it ready for the skillet, 
and I'm going to take some extra virgin coconut oil, which for anybody that watches my videos all the time, you know I'm um, addicted to coconut products. Um, I can't extol their virtues enough, so we're putting in this extra virgin coconut oil, and extra virgin is the one that smells and tastes like a fresh coconut. It's not denatured. So we're going to use that. The skillet I've already preheated, but I'm going to turn it up just a little bit, and we're going to start browning the burrito. Okay? While that one's starting to brown, I'll go ahead and fix another, and uh, we'll get them both in, and then as soon as they're finished and browned up nicely on each side, we'll take them out and cut them and show you how the center looks. You can see I've let these brown. Um, now how long you do this is going to depend on how brown you want them, but um, I browned them fairly well. And you can also see how well they hold together. The seam actually closes in on itself. So now well, let me actually put this over here for one second. I'm going to take one of these guys out, or both of them, and we're going to cut them in half. And I'm going to show you how I serve them. But I do want you to see the inside of them first because they're really neat. And I kind of cut it on an angle, just make it decorative, whatever. You don't have to. They are hot. <laughs> so if I'm doing the as best as finger thing here, you can see the inside. Isn't it pretty how the, the um, ingredients have all sort of melded together? The banana's nice and warm and gushy. And that's what you're looking for. Ooh, a little piece fell out. That little piece is mine. So, second one. All right, now we're going to plate these up. That's a pretty simple procedure, really. Serve them however you want. You can do it on individual plates, or I'm just going to make this kind of a family style. Oh, nah, we'll just leave it one. We'll see how it'll stay. It doesn't want to stand up that way, so we'll just make it stand that way. I've got a little bit of, I want you to check out these gorgeous organic raspberries that I got yesterday. Um, I'm just going to toss a few of these little guys around on the plate, over the top. All right, I will get a few more later. I'd like a little coconut as well, dried coconut. Beautiful. We're going to crown that off with a dusting of cocoa powder and, last but not least, a drizzle of agave. And just kind of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Beautiful. Now, there you have it, my gorgeous banana burrito. This can be breakfast, or as you can see by looking at it, it can obviously be a dessert. It's all vegan. It's all healthy. No processed sugars. We've added wheat germ. Um, as I said, you can also add flax. You can go wild with these. I want to thank you all for joining me today. And if you like this recipe, be sure and visit my blog at www.thehomegrowngourmet.blogspot.com. Um, the recipe and more photos of the dish will be posted on my blog today. And um, I have added a new page to my blog with catering information for those living in the greater Fort Myers area, including um, Cape Coral, Sanibel, Fort Myers, and so on. Uh, information is there for, uh, for catering. Thanks again for joining me, everybody. Have a happy and healthy week.